just want to take a look at the basics of forming a double sum. So imagine the double sum looks like this. Say y here will go from 1 to 2 to keep it simple. And then put another summation symbol. And this one will be x goes from 1 to, say, 3. And the expression would be this one, x plus y. We want to find the value of this quantity. So what you may want to do is think of it this way. Group it in your mind as this. Do that part. And then after that, so first, because the y part is on the outside, you're going to plug in the value of y equals 1 first into the expression. And then you're going to add up over the x's. So in other words, it's going to look like this. Take a look. Down at step number 1, I will have this sum. Take a look. I'm breaking it into two individual pieces. x equals 1 up to 3. And the value of y will be first fixed at y equals 1. So you put here, for that reason, x plus 1. So this is the fixed value of 1 in this position from the outer sum symbol. And then you iterate over that, adding up. So in our case, that's going to give us the following. You're going to have 1 plus 1. So here I'm plugging in for each value of x. x goes from 1 up to 3. So the next value of x will be 2, so it's going to be 2 plus 1. And after that, I will have the last value of x, which is 3. So I will say is 3 plus 1. And notice during this entire process, you have fixed the value of y at 1. And that's from the outer sum back there, okay? So when I carry this out here, you will have 1 and 1, 2. So it's 2 plus 3 plus 4, and that's a value of 9. At the next stage in the process, you again go over the x's, but you fix the value of y at 2. So go back up to the top. You see y goes over from 1 on the bottom up to 2. So for that reason, here I'm going to put x equals 1. Up here I'm going to put 3. And then here for the expression, I'm going to put x plus 2. And now this value in this position, that 2, represents the stopping value of y. Go back to the double sum. You see up here, it says that the y goes up to 2. So I plugged in the value of 2. I'm fixing the value of y, in other words, at 2. And then I iterate over the x's. So when I do that, I'll have 1 plus 2. Plus here, I will have then 2 plus 2. And then lastly, I will have here, let's see, 3 plus 2. You carry that out. So it's 3 plus 4 plus 5. So that's going to give us 12. And lastly, the total sum will simply be the result of adding up all of these values. So that would be right here. Just add these straight down, okay? So 9 and 12 here will give you 21. And that would be the value of the double sum. And back here at step number two, remember that this value of two in this position, that is the fixed value of y. Just like before, it was one as the fixed value of y. This is an example of evaluating a double sum.